Hey guys, welcome back. So we are playing with drugstore makeup today and I feel like I don't do this enough, okay? I, tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like I do not upload this kind of video enough and I need to do more and I need to be better. So honestly, this was really inspired by this Elf and Jen Atkins, I always wanna say Atkins, like the Atkins diet, like why is this my life? Why, that's not her name, it's right there. This Elf and Jen Atkin palette definitely inspired this entire look i kind of was just sitting here looking at this and i was like ah oh, you know i definitely want to film something with this but i didn't pick up the entire collection so like what could i film and hello drugstore makeup tutorial duh so i did end up picking up a lot of things i picked up some stuff that i saw recommended on tiktok i picked up just some stuff that i had seen being recommended for a while i i just like i went around ulta and i just picked up things that I was like, oh, that sounds, that's familiar. I, I've heard, definitely heard of that. I know what this is. I have a full face here, except for the one thing, which is my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Besides that, besides that one little thing, everything is from the drugstore. And I do mean everything. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look using all drugstore products and hear my opinions on these drugstore products, then please just keep on watching. But wait, before you do that, Real quick, if you want to just, if you scroll down like a little bit, there's just like a big old red box that says subscribe. You can like, you really can't miss it. If you wanna just tap that first before we roll into the video, I post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10, no, 12 p.m., what? 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know my time zones apparently. I am in the Eastern, I post at 12 p.m. Eastern. So I'm always like, well, if that's three hours, this way and then it's 9 a.m. So it's 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, in case you didn't get that with all the mumbling that was happening, okay? That is when I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here. And I feel like you probably don't wanna miss those videos. Now that that's out of the way, if you guys wanna see how I got this look, hear my opinions, blah, 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 you heard what I said earlier, then let's just roll the clip. Let me just get my chapstick up out my bra for one second and I'll be right with you. This is the second day in a row that I'm filming. I filmed two videos yesterday. I'm filming two videos again today. And I I don't know that I'm ready for this commitment right now. <laughs> but like, let's do it. Like I got home from work, what, an hour ago? Hour and a half ago. I sat down, I ate dinner, and, and now, you know, here we are. For primer today, I'm using the NYX Marshmallow Primer. And I actually was gonna use the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer that you guys saw me haul recently. But, you know, TikTok, the way it's set up, you know, they told me to get this, so I was like, all right. I put three pumps on my hand, which feels like too many. I actually really don't know much about a lot of the products I got. So I just know that this basically, when I saw it being applied, looked very luminous. So hopefully it does that for my dry ass. I am just gonna prime my brows really quickly with my non-drugstore item. I know NYX sells a base that's kind of made for the eyebrows, but like, I feel like I just can't, I just can't not do it. One day I will find a dupe for it, but just, you know, that day is not today. That's the most aggressive thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in the shade medium 355W, which obviously is dark, I mean, do we need to go through this? It's dark. The reason I decided to use this, even though like I recently tried out that Milani foundation, it's like the cream to powder foundation that I really, really like. I love that. If you didn't see that first impressions, I'll link it up here. But the reason I decided to use this is because I only used it one time on camera and I'll also link that first impressions up here. And I never tried it after that and I kind of just rid it, rid it off, wrote it off. <laughs> so probably whatever shade is underneath, not underneath, it's before 355W. I'm assuming that would have been my shade. <laughs> Oopsie. For brows, I did pick up two items because I feel like this is kind of just my thing now. I'm using a brow pencil and a brow pen, and that's just really what it is. So for my pen, I picked up the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the shade Black. This is by NYX. And I've never tried this before, but a drugstore pen, like, yeah, I am super down for that. It looks like very, like, thin, fine strokes, so I am, so I'm all about that life. Also, I'm all about being four years old, apparently, so 
Then I picked up the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade black as well. So let me toss the one some jam. Me la como entera, nada se entera, un par de amigas. Pa' puerta se mal, se viste bien. Eres una fantasma. So that's where that's gonna be. I did already prime my eyes. <laughs> using concealer. I have to say, I didn't actually set my brows for that. I would be using my ABH brow freeze because that's like the actual love of my life these days. But I'm not gonna do it even though it's like causing me physical pain. But I do really like how my brows look right now without setting them. I feel like obviously setting them would take them to the next level. But even how they are now, I really like them. So I actually don't really know what I'm gonna do for today's look, but I'm assuming I'm gonna do a cut crease because <laughs> Let's be real with ourselves here, okay? So now we get to dig into the product that kind of inspired this video. This is the e.l.f. and Jen Atkin Let's Elfing Do This palette. The one that I picked up is the deeper version of the two, obviously because it has a black and you know how I do with the black, okay? So this palette has four matte eyeshadows and then a bronzer, blush, and highlight. I am gonna be doing a all matte look, obviously. A, because I love matte eyeshadows and B, because this has for matte eyeshadows. I don't know what I'm saying, where you want me to go with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab this more warm kind of shade, you know, that's the one. And I'm gonna take it with, this is a Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm just gonna take this and put it right into the crease. Just all up in that crease. Maybe I'll do a half cut crease. Maybe I'll do a spotlight. So now just grabbing a more pinched brush. This one is a Time Los Angeles 206 brush. I love these brushes. And I'm gonna go into the bronzer actually. And I'm just gonna take that to kind of blend out the, oh, that's a lot of color on there. It's a beautiful color. Um, just to blend out these edges here. And just kind of, Make it a little more of a seamless transition. I'm gonna go for the black. We're just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm going to put this on my outer corner and my inner, oh. Elf, that's a good black. You know, like, there was no way I was gonna not use the black. Like, like we, we knew this. I am gonna go back in again for like the 110th time with the really warm shade and just try to blend these two together a little more seamlessly. It is a little bit harsher right now than I usually like it to be. So this is just like possible. Like this is just possible for this like low of a, pri a price point. I feel like a lot of other companies really got some splaining to do because look at how nice that is. Just right in the center, I'm gonna cut like right up here. So I'm taking a MAC 242 and I'm gonna go into, I'll tell you right now, this shade right here. And I'm gonna put this basically right on the center of the lid, right where there's basically nothing. Now with that same MAC 242, I'm gonna take the warmer tone shade. I wonder if there's, no, I don't think there's any shade names here. I'm taking this shade that we basically drowned our eyes in and I'm just gonna place it right in between the black and the like bone shade very carefully. I did this exact look I think recently, didn't I? Look at this fool. Look at this I'm mad. It's not gonna be exactly the same because I do plan on throwing a little bit of glitter this time. I'm gonna link that video, by the way. It was my one size uh, video. I'll link it up here in case you guys wanna see this exact look a second time. So I'm gonna take this NYX Glitter Goals Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Zodiac Queen. It's just a gold. And I'm just gonna throw it into my crease. And then I'm gonna feel better about the fact that this looks exactly the same as my other look. Okay, okay, sounds good to me. So I think I'm just gonna do my smudged out black eyeshadow like I've been doing. I just, you know what? I like what I like, okay? You don't see me judging you about what you like. So I'm just taking a flat definer brush and I'm going into the black in the palette, Rahar. 
And we're gonna smudge this along that lash line as I do in every single video ever. Do I have fallout? Probably, right? Yeah, I sure do. Just gonna wipe that away with a little wipey wipe. Also from the drugstore, Aveeno. And I know nobody likes makeup wipes anymore, by the way, like, I'm sorry, can't relate. I, I'm gonna be a makeup wipe user probably for the whole rest of my life. Like, it don't matter if Jesus himself came down and was like, hey, my man, don't use makeup wipes. Like, sorry to disappoint, Jesus, but <laughs> we're using makeup wipes. Look at that nose peeling. In case anyone thinks I'm just kidding, or like I'm not telling the truth, my nose is peeling still. I'm using the Infallible Full Wear Plus whatever. This is the concealer, okay, from L'Oreal in the shade 375 Latte. It's very full coverage, just like it says. And I love this real fat doe flare. It reminds me of Shape Tape, but I personally think it's better than Shape Tape. Do you see how much coverage this has? The only thing that I kind of forgot about until right now is that it does dry down pretty quickly, in my opinion. So I feel like you need to work with it faster than you would with other concealers. It's time for, oh, oh, your mom. I picked up a new powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in this shade 25 medium. I've heard so many good things about this powder for a very long time. Like this is not even a recent thing. Everybody has been talking about this and I've just never tried it. So I'm very excited. It looks a little warmer than I feel like I would like. It almost looks like a freaking bronzer. Mm, color is not bad. I'm gonna be using the Zero Effort Liner by e.l.f. in collaboration with Jen Aiken. And I think this one is in black or in the black shade. I bought both shades, but they look so similar. Okay, there we go. I do have the black one. We're gonna zoom you back in and we're just gonna run this on the waterline. When I swatch, oh. Oh, wait, that was so freaking creamy. And you know, this is a wooden pencil, so that's like kind of hard to do, but hold on. I, wanna, I want you to see, take a look, ready? My man, are you kidding? So I'm just gonna take the black again with the same flat definer brush that I used on my upper lash line and just kind of smudge that on my lower lash line. Maybe it's a good thing that I did this exact look already because the one size palette that I used for this look is like what, 40 bucks, something like that. And this palette was like, <laughs> several less. I'm gonna go into this like warmer shade that we've used a thousand times today with a pencil brush. And I'm going to smudge this underneath the black, bringing it pretty low. For my lashes today, I am using these and this will very clearly be the first time I ever use them. They look like they have so much curve to them, so I'm excited. These are the Ilure Lux XL Faux Mink lashes and i think the style is indulgence so that's it says it in, it says indulgence right there i think that's what it's called but look how long these are so you guys know anastasia lash brag is my favorite mascara at the moment but i picked up a drugstore one and this is the voluminous lash paradise in 200 black or black is black black is black and this is not one of those like super viral kind of things it's not that at all this is just the only mascara that I notably remember enjoying. I don't get why it is that I buy expensive mascara if I wear lashes every single, and I mean every single time. Like it doesn't matter if I'm doing a very subtle look or if I'm doing like one of those quick, just toss a little bit of makeup on and go out the doors, which I barely do by the way. Um, I am gonna wear lashes, period, does not matter. The band on these is a little stiffer than the lashes that I am used to using. I think that I did good by picking these lashes, but again, I still prefer my like Lily lashes, Beauty Creations lashes, all those lashes. I'm just gonna take the highlighter in the palette and I'm gonna put this on my inner corner. It's not like the brightest inner corner highlight ever, but 
it works enough. And I, I pretty sure you guys know I don't always highlight my inner corner when I do a, a halo eye. Sometimes I just feel like my eye needs it. Other times I don't. But for today, I kind of just feel like my eye needs it. It feels like we're super duper smoky right now and I need something just to brighten this up a little bit. Now we can move on to bronzing slash contouring. I am gonna start off with the bronzer in the palette. So I really don't think that this is a contour shade. Obviously, I mean, it's it's pretty warm. If you look at it, you can see it's pretty warm. That would actually almost even be a blush for me. But on the forehead, it gives like the most subtle bronze and it's actually really nice. I am gonna t use, not test, I've definitely used this before, this NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan, which... I you I think you know if you've been here for well I don't know if you've been here for a long time I used to really freaking love this so I'm gonna just put this on my cheeks here so I actually have two of the elf blush palettes I have um, light and dark so let me show you the difference this one is light here is dark so you can see light and dark I love them both so <laughs> honestly they both work for me so i'm gonna take the dark palette and i'm gonna take this shade right here the one that i just said is like my favorite one that's what i'm gonna use and you have to be careful with these because they're very very freaking pigmented okay very pigmented which is what mama likes i like me a pigmented blush so i'm gonna try to mix this brown and this bronzer the brown is like a little obviously darker but a little bit more cool toned and obviously this bronzer is like a better tone but it's very warm. So I'm just gonna very lightly run it down my very disgustingly peely nose. You can, I think if you let the light hit my nose at like a certain angle, you can just see the peeling that is going on. Just like, look up here, what is that? I think I might have pulled that off, okay? I think that could have been a lot worse, so give me some props. For my setting spray, I am very, very excited about this. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. and Jen Atkin Mist Me. I'm so excited about this. Oh my god. I am just gonna, we're just, we're just gonna, okay? Cool with you? My face is like legitimately very damp so i'm gonna have to take like three to five business days to let this dry a little bit i would say if you have that mist go light-handed with it don't spray it like i just did because it was just literally sitting on my face for a minute there for today's highlighter i am using the elf and Bellinor neharika glow highlighter i freaking love this highlighter so much you could obviously use the highlighter that's in the palette i just like for the sake of not only using that palette wanted to use something different plus I really like this highlighter so I forgot that this is hella pigmented <laughs> so far I'm just grabbing out of the cap but you can already see how crazy this is great yes stripe down the nose it's exactly the look I was going for for my lip liner I know it's like technically not drugstore but sorry <laughs> so this is the morphe lip pencil in the shade forecast that's what it looks like here i really could just not use lip pencil and that would kind of solve everything but i don't want to do that you know me and lip pencil okay we're best friends so <laughs> the setting spray like clung to all of my little beard hairs here huh <laughs> i'm gonna take the nyx liquid suede cream lipstick in this shade brooklyn thorn i really like this formula like a lot especially like right now i feel like this formula is really good it's definitely a liquid lipstick but it doesn't dry down matte it dries down kind of like the ultra satin lips do by color pop So yeah, that is it for this all drugstore look. I am so excited about how this turned out, even though it is, you know, exactly the same as that one video. 
I still really like it, okay? We have glitter, so it's different. And actually, in my other video, I did blue on the lower lash line, and today we did black. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and Snapchat, and TikTok, and Twitter. All that stuff is just a KD Danger, as always. I, you know, I made a TikTok yesterday, so like... I think I'm a person. Anyways, that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yo, how many boogies can one human being have? Like, there should be some type of limit, I think.